Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Black Chicken, and today we're gonna be looking at a kind of different video. Apparently, it's about how air conditioning is sexist. I don't know how air conditioning could be sexist, but yeah, let's just start on with the video. There it was. There I was thinking it was just me that had a problem, but it turns out it's the air conditioning that's sexist. Okay, before I let this video play, there are children dying all around the world, and the one topic they want to talk about is about how air conditioning hits women harder than it does to men, and apparently that makes it sexist. I know. Um, so many women in our office have the exact same problem. You know, we just sit there absolutely freezing at our desks trying to type. Um, you can probably tell I've got a cold right now, which I blame all on the AC. I don't know how some people manage to reach this level of stupidity. All you have to do is turn the AC off. Or you could blame the person that set up the AC, not the AC itself. Um, and so it's just so actually quite nice to see this research. Um, it's just such a relief to know that there's actually proof that this is happening, that women, you know, do feel the cold more than men. Feeling the cold more than men does not mean that the AC did it to you. Not like Larry the AC is just like, oh, 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 uh, sexist, sexist, I'm sexist to everyone, oh, I love men so much. And that the AC in offices is normally regulated more for a male's temperature than a woman's. And it's an explanation for these constant battles you'll see in offices right across the country uh, between the sexes for control of their office thermostat. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, one of the biggest problems is that often in offices, it is men who control temperatures. You know, that's just something I've found anecdotally. Um, and because majority of the men in offices seem to be absolutely fine with the temperatures, you know, women kind of just sit there on the corner feeling absolutely frozen. Yeah, probably because we don't complain as much. I will really say my body, my choice till something hits you like that. Stop being a little <laughs> and get up and turn the AC off. And, you know, often like actually nothing's being done to help them. And, you know, it might sound like a bit of a silly, lighthearted issue, but actually it's really uncomfortable being freezing at your desk every day. Um, take it from me. No, I, I, I know I experience the same because what I've often found is you go in on a really hot summer's day, you're wearing summer clothes, you go into an office and it's absolutely freezing. Uh, I think even for some men it must be too cold. Look at her face. She does not like playing men as the victim. I don't understand why air conditioning is often so cold. So what you have to do is then take a jumper in with you and put that jumper on in order to be able to function. Yeah. Honestly, I think so many women listening now are going to just be nodding their heads thinking, yes, that is exactly my reality. You know, we joke at work that we actually can't dress fashionably anymore for summer because you actually just can't go in in sandals. You can't go in in a summer dress because you're going to have to put on the jumper or the emergency cardigan. Um, so, yeah, it, it is quite frustrating, especially when you then go out on your lunch break or your commute home and you're absolutely boiling outside. And I think there is a bit of a problem when it's warmer outside than it is inside your office. Or maybe the sun is outside. He's really trying to say the sun is supposed to be hotter on the inside than outside. She must have gotten hit in the head really hard when she was little. So what's the solution then? Because we can't have men overheating in the offices, can we? No, I think we just need a bit more flexibility. You know, I think it is just essentially common sense. So if, you know, an office is noticing that a number of women are complaining about the cold, they need to be more flexible. You know, they need to actually kind of lower it and not just say that all oh, the men are fine. You know, now there is actually proof that this is this is actually an issue. I think they need to kind of take women's considerations into account. Bro, if this is even a problem, how is this a woman's only problem? And you know what, maybe there can be more flexibility with men not having to wear suits in some offices and they can come in in t-shirts or whatever they need to be the right temperature. Unfortunately, that's all we have for today, guys. If you guys want to keep watching the gameplay in the background, you know I'm good at Minecraft. You could stay and I'm just going to let this play. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what we should do for next one. See you guys later. Peace. Bye. 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 Bye.